the leading organizations who are actively using ServiceNow AI agents, or I would say the early movers into the space. So kudos to them. Well, don't worry, you are also not behind. We are, Syntexa is very much willing to take you forward into that competitive journey. So I think the first competitor I would like to talk about is AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca use ServiceNow AI platform to automate lab supply ordering and employ, employ onboarding. This reduced routine task time uh, from 30 minutes to seconds. The solution now saves over 30,000 hours annually in lab operations, 90 hours, 90,000 hours for high hiring managers these uh, time saving help these time savings help accelerate the company's mission to launch 20 new medicines by 2030 by allowing teams to focus more on critical research which is incredible Next is Hitachi Vantara, which implemented ServiceNow AI platform to reduce developer workload and streamline internal tasks. Automations in processes like expense reports, timesheets, and report generation lowered developer effort by 40%, increased overall productivity by 20%, and improved employee satisfaction by 15%. After that, we have uh, InMoffice, which launched three generative AI solutions in just four weeks using ServiceNow AI platform. The initiative achieved 73% code accuracy, fulfilled 100% of IT and HR SLAs, and improved sales team productivity by 2.5 by 2.5x. So that is 2.5 times. With AI-powered port generation, document search, and RFP responses, InMoffice streamlined intern. Uh, streamlined internal operations and accelerated innovations so you know these were some of the major uh, major brands who are actively utilizing service now ai agents into their business and uh, additionally this is true that they are early movers but this is also true that with that there the, the landscape is still right now very much raw and something that you can build very quickly on top of so uh, with awareness, of course, you have to take some execution into moving forward towards getting these AI agents into your business. And that is why, uh, as I previously also recommended, Syntexa is a partner who can help you, help you out in building these AI agents quicker with more longer run vision. Uh, I think after this, Vijay, uh, we additionally... Uh, are going to talk about the service now agentic AI ecosystem. So yeah, please, you know, take us through it. Yeah, so basically we are going to talk about what's next. So what's next is the new capabilities uh, in agents and intelligence that we'd be seeing. So we'd be seeing more intelligent uh, LLM models, more intelligent AI uh, being embedded into the platform itself only. And then we would be seeing multimodal capabilities so that it does not only ingest the data and you know, audio, video, and text, it actually gives output in uh, the same format as well. So we'd be seeing a lot of that. So I just showed you how you can type and get your issue resolved. It might be in next year, you would be simply speaking, hi, my, uh, my laptop is not working. Can you please help me? And it will resolve the issue for you. So things like that. So we'd be seeing that uh, audio integration, probably uh, a big yes in the next uh, coming year. I see that. And then we have ecosystem expansion and, uh, and you know, the capability of bringing in not only just one type of AI, but bringing in different type of AI. It's not only service now, AI LLM models. You can utilize Claude, you can utilize chat GPT, you can utilize uh, Llama, Grok as well, things like that. You would be seeing more of that happening. And pre-built agents using those that will be embedded into service now platform. Then we have governance, control and value realization we would be seeing more developments in that because uh, service now is an early mover in that and not other organizations are doing that and not at least not at the level that uh, service now is doing so we'd be seeing a lot more progress in that we would be seeing more uh, zeroing in on specific use cases more zeroing in whether it's delivering value for me or not so it will be working uh, it will be you would be seeing developments towards that and then lastly, we'll be, you know, having pervasive integration and user empowerment. So we would be seeing AI agents being embedded across all the modules, across all the, you know, features and capabilities that ServiceNow provides. And we would be seeing much more deeper level AI embedded into the platform. So these are the four things that I see happening uh, pretty much soon. Some of them are on their roadmap. Uh, I discussed this with uh, their, you know, principal architects and all of that. But again, forward-looking statement. That's why I said it earlier. So, yeah. 
All right. Wow. That was a lot of insightful information. Although we have taken your uh, uh, your remark that yes. uh, let's not discuss too much. Let's things comes into the picture first. So we are not going to do that. But what we are going to do is we are going to tell you how can you choose a right implementation or consulting partner for yourself. So in order to choose that, the first thing is even the of of course the technical front is important but the industry know how understanding your industry is also equally important so industry know how is first second is uh, certified professionals so they have the partners should have uh, official so should be official service now partner and should have the right certifications or uh, which somewhere proves their credibility next is they should be technical savvy of course we are talking everything about technical so that is very much needed next is tailoring and integration so you can actually assess a partner's capability on this ground as well whether uh, you uh, whether uh, you know they are able to understand your unique requirements and are are will be able to seamlessly integrate it within your existing systems also or not next is project management and after that it's post implementation services as well so always go for someone who additionally can provide you a maintenance or main managed services as well that will uh, that will you know help you uh, help you stay sorted for longer run so yeah that is also one thing that you can look into uh, vijay i want you to also tell us that where syntexa stands right now in service now ecosystem and uh, when it comes to service now ai agents and all of these fronts we are working extensively on ai agents and not uh, only from the service now perspective we have been working on ai agents for past two years ever since uh, chat gpt was released uh, we were actually working on ai before than that i think i have said it multiple times so we are working on various ai agents we are helping out a lot of companies uh, so recently we are working with uh, one of the companies that is into uh, uh, you know that is kind of looking for doing piloting i would not say looking they are piloting the hr agent that we have built for them with the uh, service now itself only and along with that we have you know along with that we have kind of you know uh, integrated the data from different platforms we are actually working on a ai agent for uh, one of the use case that I showed you, the production line not working. So that is actually uh, taken a small, very, very small use case from an AI agent that we are building. So we are working on very extensively on that. And we have a, a team who knows AI, who knows how all things work, who knows uh, what are the new things which are brewing up in the industry, be it model context protocol, be it agent to agent communication, things like that. So we are working extensively on that. And uh, we are looking forward to, you know, helping out organizations that are looking to kind of utilize that and uh, you know expand their uh, expand their automation expand their cap uh, capabilities and you know be ai ready in this era okay wow uh, i think then i don't have to say anything vj has said it all that if you are looking actually looking for so to get service now ai agents built into your business and text is the answer